right, have you ever used AutoPad before? No. All right, so what we'll do is go over all of the supplies, um, when to clean them, um, how to change them, and when to replace them. We'll okay. put the mask on, we'll get you fitted, and make sure the pressure is nice and comfortable, and mm -hmm. then we'll go over the machine. Okay. Okay? Uh, so first we'll go over the supplies. So monthly you're eligible for two disposable filters, which are right here. This little box just drops down. And there's a filter right in there. Okay. You're going to change that every 30 days. Your machine's going to give you a little pop-up box on the front to let you know it's time to change that. Okay. You have an extra one right here. Okay. We'll put in your bag. A nasal pillow. You are eligible for two of these every um, 30 days also. You'll clean this with an alcohol prep pad every night or every morning just to get the dirt nose off of it from the night before. Okay. Okay. Um, it has two little plugs and they just slide in like so. Okay. Okay. Um, this is your mask kit with headgear. This is the headgear part and this is the mask kit part. Um, you can replace this every six months if you choose. Okay. okay. Every 90 days you're eligible for new tubing, which is right here. So it's just a standard six foot tubing. Uh, both ends are the same. Mm -hmm. um, just keep it nice and dry. If you get any water inside, you want to hang it over your shower head. And reasons why you could get water, you have warm air going through the tubing and cold air on the outside could cause some condensation. Okay. Okay. Um, if you get that, just hang it over your shower head and let it drip dry all day. Okay. okay? Um, you can clean your tubing with um, warm water. Just run some water through it and hang it over your shower head again to let it dry. Um, and just replace it every three months. Okay. Okay. And we'll put this together in just a second. Um, let's see. Every six months, you're eligible for a humidifier chamber, which is over here. It just pops out, opens on the side, and you will fill it uh, with distilled water to your max line. You'll add water every couple of nights. Just add water to the water that's already in here. Mm -hmm. Once a week, you'll wash it. Make you some mild soapy water. Uh, submerge it, wipe it really good, rinse it, add your distilled water back in. Okay. Okay. This is going to last you a really long time as long as you're using distilled water. Don't use tap water. Um, it'll leave a nasty residue in the bottom and rust out your heat plate. Okay. If you run out of distilled water, you can use bottled water for a couple of nights. Okay. Okay. And just slides right back in. Uh, let's see. You have a two-year warranty on this machine. If anything happens to it between now and then, just bring it back into us, let us look at it, and we'll start the process of getting you another one. Okay. Okay? Do you have any questions? Not yet. All right. So over the head, and mm -hmm. into the nostrils, and then we'll just separate these. Like so. One at the top, one at the bottom, and then just fold down and readjust into the nose. All right, so just breathe in, there you go. So the machine is on now. Um, it's gonna start you out at a pressure of six. Once uh, you get to sleep, it's gonna auto titrate you up, okay? Um, it's set six to 16. So what that means is you're gonna start out at a low pressure of six and it can go all the way to 16, but it does not mean it's going to, just if you need that, okay? It does black out quickly, so if light bothers you, that goes away. Um, this three right here is your humidity level. Um, I start everybody at a three. You just kind of have to find what works for you. Um, everybody's home is different. Uh, so if you're drying your sinuses, you may want to go up a little bit. If you're having lots of water in your tubing, you may want to go back down. Okay. Um, is your inhale exhale okay? Mm -hmm. No back pressure when exhaling? Mm -mm. Good. All right. So when you wake up in the morning, you do have to turn the machine off. It does not auto off by itself. So you just hit the power button. Now it's off and just up and over the head. Um, so every morning when you wake up, it's gonna give you a um, little report. It's gonna tell you how many hours you used it. You just want it to be greater than four. Okay. Uh, so if you wake up, it's at three hours and 58 minutes, put it back on for two more minutes to get your full four hours. Okay. Okay. It's also gonna give you two green happy faces or two mean red faces for your mask seal. If you're getting a mean red face every night, there's a problem. Go ahead and call me and we'll get that fixed for you. Okay. Okay. Um, if you use it for about six to 12 weeks and then you start to get the mean red face, it's probably time to change your pillow. That'll be the first thing I instruct you to do. Mm -hmm. Um, and then it should go away. Okay. Okay. 
And for your humidifier, you should always get a green face. Um, if you get a red face, it could be because you ran out of water in your chamber. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to tell you not to do that again. But if it's a constant red face and you're keeping water, it could be a problem. Just call us here with that. Okay. Okay. You can hit your home button. It's going to bring you to your My Options. And your humidity level is in here. Um, so if you do need to change that, you just click. And um, you can go up one at a time if you need to go up, or if you need to go down, you can go down one at a time. Okay. Okay. Let's see. You can run a mask fit. You would put your mask on um, and just hit the button. It's going to give you a green face or a red face. If it gives you a red face, it's going to get you to do some adjusting until you get the green face, which just means you have a nice good seal. Okay. Okay. The next thing is run warm up. Some patients use that during the winter. The water in your chamber could be really cold if you don't use the heater in your house. Mm -hmm. um, so instead of getting a burst of cold air in through your sinuses, you can turn that on about 10 minutes before bed and it'll warm the water for you a little bit. Okay. Okay. And the last thing is airplane mode. Do you have little kids at home? Yes. All right, so they can get into this menu and play. They can't really hurt anything, but they can turn your airplane mode on, which would block out the cellular wireless modem inside of the unit. Okay. Um, so if you see that the little airplane is in the corner, you just want to turn that off. Okay. Okay, we can't send or receive any data from you. Then you can just go back to your home button, and that's it. So there is a cellular wireless modem in there. It's how we track your usage and your compliance. It's also how we make any changes to your machine. So okay. if you have any problems or issues, just call, um, and uh, we'll go over that report with you, and we can make those changes and send them straight to your machine. Okay, good. Okay, and the last thing, there is a little app. It's called My Air. There's a sticker on the top of the machine. You can download that app, Bluetooth your phone to your machine, and it'll send you a daily report like it sends us. Oh, okay. So you can track your sleep, too. Awesome. All right, any questions? No, ma'am. All right.